That's six-year-old Joshua with the glasses and his eight-year-old brother Andre. Both have a fatal genetic disease, cystic fibrosis, that attacks their lungs. <coughs> Only Andre has access to a potentially life-saving medication. He got into a long-term drug trial for one of three gene-modifying drugs. Only a few Canadian kids got in. His little brother didn't. When I put them to bed at night and I hear Andre go to sleep peacefully and then I hear Josh laying awake in his bed coughing himself to sleep. Few patients can afford the $250,000 a year price tag, and few provinces cover the cost of the drugs. The provinces that do put severe restrictions on who qualifies. In Ontario, less than 2% of pediatric patients do. No adults. One, two, three, blow. About 4,200 Canadians have cystic fibrosis. Unlike a lot of other countries, Canada doesn't have a special process for evaluating drugs for rare diseases. Well, it's a heartbreaking situation. Critics say that testing criteria is built only for drugs that treat more common illnesses and can hold large trials. We can't do that in small populations. And so often when our evidence goes to the table for government to look at, they say there's not enough evidence. Absolutely shameful. Then there's the price. Chris McLeod is the lawyer heading up a class action in B.C. over access to one of the drugs, or Cambi. He says that $250,000 is just the sticker price no one actually pays, but Canada hasn't bothered to negotiate. We're the only developed country that is not, either doesn't have a deal or isn't negotiating a deal. Minister, Maddie Van Stone is a very courageous girl, but as courageous as she is, she needs your help. She needs your help to get access to a life-saving drug. That's Christine Elliott when she was opposition health critic in Ontario, pushing for coverage of one of these drugs. As health minister, she has not expanded coverage, saying the government is continuously reviewing evidence that supports funding of new medications. We have a medication right now that uh, half the population could benefit from and we're not getting access to it. The drug company, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, didn't say why the cost is so high. Cystic Fibrosis Canada says it's often because developing medications for rare diseases is so expensive and the market is so small. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.